Hi everyone. I am. Um, I'm really happy to be judging again for Yaz this year. I had a great time doing it last year. Um, thank you, Audrey, for asking me to participate again this year. Um, and I loved watching everybody's videos. I feel like you all put a lot of effort into it and thought and tried to figure out something that would accomplish the goal of the um, assignment for this week. And so I appreciated seeing that. And when I was looking at this, I'm looking for the skating and for how well and ideas communicated about what you're trying to do in terms of um, what kind of idea you wanted to get across in addition to having the sound effects as your background, as your, you know, springing off point or as something that was supporting the concept of, through movement that you were attempting to do. So I was kind of looking at it from that point of view. Um, so I'll talk first about Cordero. And I thought your movement was really wonderful. Um, and I liked the way that it went together with the sound effects really well. What I was, two things I was wondering about was the camera angle. Sometimes I felt like the camera angle was really advantageous for what you were doing. And I had a very good view of it and I could really like feel the gestures. And then other times I felt like the camera angle was not, uh, I was like looking from, from the back to where I couldn't really see what you were um, wanting to say and I, I wasn't sure which side the audience was and I, I know if the audience was kind of in the round then the camera work has to be done in a certain way that I feel like I'm inside of it um, so that I'm a part of the you know the movie or the story that's taking place more um, there was one part where the camera was in the so inside kind of panning around as you were moving in a circle and that was really effective um, and uh, and I think I, I would have liked a little bit more if there was a story that could have existed without the music so that the sound effects gave you some choreography but if there was like enough of um enough life in the piece itself that it didn't need all the sound effects for it to work um i know that maybe that's a little esoteric way of saying it but um but you know but i really enjoyed it and um and i feel like uh you know it was a good challenge um, I give this three and a half stars. And then next person, Laura. Um, I felt like the beginning was a little bit unfocused, um, but then once you got on the train, everything was super clear. And I like I really enjoyed the camera work and all the choreography that took place and um, and how you got off the train at the end. Like I really felt like all that worked really well. Um, just the beginning section when you were waiting for the train, I felt like the way the movement went with the choreography, I was kind of... Uh, lost um, and I, I didn't really I didn't really know what what was the experience of the person waiting for the train at that moment or what the movement was trying to communicate to me um, so and thank you very much uh, I thought it was an interesting idea to skate to subway music like the background and uh, I'll give you three stars um, the next person Darren um, I thought that was also I mean I, I thought everyone's ideas were very interesting so this is another interesting idea um, and I appreciated using the hockey players because they do have a different movement style, which I like. Um, and the story of the sound effects made sense, but I was what I was wanting more was that the movement, the actual movement of the hockey players or the movement of the story or the, the you know how the movements went with the sound effect was more clear, more like more um, more specific in the actual body movement with everyone and that there was more of a kind of an emotional involvement and investment in the way the story went because um everybody was pretty deadpan through the whole thing and and there wasn't there were changes of movement a little bit but it was like when they're skittering back and forth like for them to actually really move fast back and forth across each other um so that there's this feeling that you're really creating um you know a very clear feeling in the moment that's happening with that music and that we can all like start to get into what's happening there um i was looking for that a little bit more i thought it was a very interesting premise um you know and i i really enjoyed that aspect of it um so i'm giving this two and a half stars um Morris, I found that this video was slightly hard for me to see because I felt like I was so far back from everything. Um, 
but I appreciated like all the skaters and like, you know, seeing it in a group piece like that with that many people. I thought that was really amazing to get that many people together. And, you know, and um, it seemed like everybody was well rehearsed. Everyone had the same concept of what they were doing with each uh, piece of, you know, sound or each sound effect. Um, but what I was, uh, what I was missing in this was a little bit of uh, how the choreography hung together as a whole so that it wasn't just about um, putting different sound effects and having the movement go to different sound effects, but that there was more of a, a theme or a, a thread that would run through the whole thing so that I would feel why one sound effect came after another one or how the movement really like, there was one part that was really nice where the, there was the baby and then people kind of came out after like they sort of fell out of the circle and were circling around as other people were still carrying the baby and I really liked that because I felt like I was getting some deeper abstract meaning from it that was existing separate from the sound effect but went with the sound effect and and I really enjoyed that and I was wanting more parts like that um, but thank you very much and um, I'm giving this uh, two and a half stars uh, and then the next person was Stephanie, and I thought that the concept was really terrific. Um, it was a very interesting way to interpret the assignment, so I felt like it stretched a little bit what the assignment was in terms of sound effects, but it was also, you know, it did fit, it did make sense, and, um, and it was an interesting way of doing it. And, um, and that the, uh, and that, you know, how we do hear the words that come to us every day and what those, how those make us feel. And, um, so one thing I, I had a uh, notice that there's a transition between when the feelings were like, when the, the words were bad or, or, um, derogatory, and then it made the skaters like skate a certain way. And then there was this shift where the words started being supportive and encouraging. And then the skaters, you know, changed how they moved. And that transition to me, I would have liked a little bit more, um, more of a reason for how that shifted or why that turned around and, and went the other way um, so that it, it felt confirming that felt the transition came out a little bit like I wasn't expecting it and I didn't really feel the the reason for it enough so I would have liked a little bit more of a you know something clearly to shift to cause that transition into hearing encouraging or supporting words and um, and then the other thing that's just, just a little bit more in terms of body movement and how that connected to the sound of the words too. I guess I feel like that would have been a nice touch if there was the, the meaning of the words, but then the way that they were being said, that the skater more clearly like showed how it, you know, the, the tone of the, of the voice or the, the pace or the speed of the voice or tempo of the voice, that that was also echoed in the, the skater's bodies. Um, I feel like that would have been, um, also taking taking into account sound a little bit better, um, but I thought it was really really interesting and very effective and uh, and um, I enjoyed it and uh, I'd like to give it four stars. Um, Kyle is the next person, and I felt that this piece for me this piece really satisfied um, what I was looking for in terms of using a sound effect, having some clear abstract meaning that came across cross through movement. Um, and really demonstrated like how a sound effect can have a, a, a physical impact on us and then how um, how we respond to it and how we have some choices in the matter and and the simplicity of taking the sound effect away and just having the sound of the skates I really enjoyed and also how the skaters all watched each other and really were trying to pay attention to make the sounds at the same time um, which I also appreciated because then it was really clear that the sound effect was meant to be the sound of the skates um, and the blades. And so, and then I felt like it, it made the meaning hit home of what you were trying to say with the piece. You know, so I really felt that that worked for me. I felt that the concept was clear, um, the choreography was clear, the skating was fine, and, uh, and I liked the, the use of the sound effects. So I gave this one five stars. So, um, okay, Arthur. I, uh, I thought it was an interesting concept. I felt like it could use more rehearsal um, because the skaters weren't really moving together um, so much. And I think that the sound effects was the sound of their skating, but because they weren't doing things at the same time, 
it didn't have a clear, I didn't have a clear um, soundtrack to the movement. So that was uh, hard to do. And then it was interesting how they were talking and I was just like, and I thought the concept was very interesting, you know, the idea of striking. And I know a lot of skaters can sympathize with that. Um, and so, but, so then I, I guess the, they, when they were talking, they were usually standing still, or if they shouted, it was usually after they did something. And then there was kind of just a fist pump with it. But so there wasn't really skating and like in response or movement in response to a sound effect of some sort. So I felt like that was something missing um, when I was looking for in this assignment. So I'm giving this two and a half stars. Um, and Danielle, uh, I found this one very funny. I enjoyed the sense of the sense of humor a lot, and um, and I thought the sound effects were like, you know, this took me on an emotional journey through the whole like the day, and it made sense. It, it's like I thought it worked well in terms of. You know, responding to sound effects, movement that could exist on its own, um, and also like, I guess the 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 path of the story I felt was very clear, um, and I think you know, and I, I do appreciate a sense of humor. You know, I feel like that adds a lot to a piece. Um, it ended on a darker note than I was expecting, but um, but I did uh, I did feel like it worked, um, and I enjoyed the skating very much, and I'd like to give this four stars. So. That is everybody. Thank you so much, everyone. I really enjoyed watching the pieces and on the effort that you put in. And, and I look forward to seeing what else is coming out in the next couple of weeks. So take care. Bye-bye.